What up, what up, y'all? This is Jeremiah, and I'm here with Fader, Fader TV. Y'all keep it locked. Well, I started producing about three and a half, about four years, no, longer than that. I started as a producer, but about four years ago, I really started singing, um, taking it seriously as, as far as me singing as to rapping and producing, which is what I was doing at first. I used to do like a lot of chopping samples, and um, you know, I was heavily influenced by like, Donnell and Stevie and even when Kanye dropped him, you know, came out and I, I really started taking notes as far as even with his production. But um, when I started singing is when I started working with one of my partners, Mick, who produced records that you might have heard from me, like Originally Birthday Sex and even Down On Me. <clears throat> but I started working with him and I began to start like singing and uh, believing that I could sing as to just rapping and producing. My whole family sings. You know, my mother was a singer. She was in the group. I had a cousin that was in the group, uh, Day 26. You know, my whole family is actually musically inclined, but I was always more the instrumentalist as to the singer. But I was in, you know, I grew up in a church and I actually played the drums. And I, you know, I sang, but I played the drums for the choir. And um, if I was in the choir, I never had like no leading role. I never had a solo part. <laughs> so I was just part of the tenor section. Well, now I feel more confident than ever, but at first, you know, I really wasn't, I, I didn't know I would be known internationally as a singer, you know, but when I started, um, when people start like hearing my records that I was creating at the time, because I was in school at the same time, went to Columbia College, which is an art school downtown Chicago, and um, you know I start going in on records, and my whole style then is so different than how I create now. I really was, you know, actually in my school I had like a, a poetry class. It was just a prerequisite, um, so I, I I was forced to write anyway. So a lot of my poetics I started using with my songs, and. Um, those was what I put on the lyrics as far as on the beats at that time. But now I just kind of go in and, and say the first thing on my mind. Well, you know, Late Nights was one of those, it was kind of like what I was living. I was on the road and a lot of my, a lot of, instead of me recording during the day, which is what I used to do, I was doing a lot of recording at night because I'd be out and out, or I'd be sleep all day and then probably wake up at like three and finish the rest of my day and um, I'd go in. But, you know, it was just a whole uh, a composition of just a whole bunch of feelings, you know. I felt like it had been two and a half years since I released my, let, my last album, which was all about you. And people, you know, I'm on all these records and I kind of wanted to give people uh, just the gist of how I was feeling right now. And um, so the late nights was the new flow for me. It was a lot of, I really didn't write much on there. This is, this is like what was fresh off my mind and while working with like Two Chains and <clears throat> and Gucci and, and Atlanta, and I was like, man, these these are going right in. They're not even thinking about it. They go right in, and I, I started to kind of take some of their tactics of how they record it. So when they um when I saw them go in on records, and they just was like, man, yup, that's it. So I kind of took that style of, of just creating, and Late Nights was really that, you know? It's just a whole bunch of feelings. I wanted to keep it real sexy for the ladies. I wanted to just not care about no sample clearances and no, none of that, you know, that people really worry about when you do when you create an album. I just wanted to put out, you know, a good recent body of work for myself that I was feeling that I love to ride to, that I like to, I like to in the bedroom and dance to on the, in the dance floor. Um, and you know, I just, I'm, I'm glad people are just even now hearing it for the first time and being receptive to, to my new sound.